Big Brother is a social game. Yeah. You get me? Like, it, it should be respected more. It should be legit praised way more than that whole mastermind game. Yeah. Because at the end of the day, if you're able to connect and, and not only that, but maneuver and, and deal with 16 big yeah. different personalities, and you're able to connect with all those people and at the end of the day, get those votes, that says so much about you as a human being. Yeah. You get me? And like, I hate that the social game does not get the respect yeah. it should because you know, I met Nicole, she's a really good friend of mine, and, and I see all these winners, I'm like, what do we all have in common? And it's like, we can connect with people, we can read people, we know, Nicole will like, spot someone and be like, I don't like them, you know? And I'm like, we all have that gift, you know? And it's not highlighted as much as it should, but, um, I don't know. I agree, yeah. because it's just like, it's like a, well, it's something that everyone already has. It's already a yeah. human, human capacity yeah. that everyone has within them. Yeah. So whether it's just like breathing or thinking or whatever the case, that's being overlooked. Like it's nothing, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So even with like social strategy or social game, it's so powerful, yet it's overlooked. Yeah, it's it overlooked in so many ways because people get that we're social animals, but people don't get it, get it. They don't know how they deep don't. it is they and how far it'll take you yeah. in a game of Big Brother and or in life, Yeah. how far it can take you. How, how much it can help you, how much it can help you create your life the way you want to. Cool. We got this. We got this. <laughs> I feel like I'm back in the DR again. <laughs> That's right. This is I'm back in the DR. Let's go. What's up, guys? We're here with my brother, Josh Martinez, winner of BB19. This kid is a heart of gold, and I'm so glad we met, man. Hell yeah. This is super awesome. Yeah. So thanks for your time. Appreciate it. Like Always. my voice. Always. We we're are, in Vegas. We're in Vegas we're right now. We're partying in Vegas right now, but <laughs> we're in Vegas. Um, and yeah, we're big chilling out here. We're so happy. this, first of all, I tell you this all the time. I yeah. fucking love you. I, I love appreciate you. you. Same. This guy has helped me so much with a bunch of stuff. Like in the beginning, when I first got out the house, yeah. and just needing the guidance. I sound horrible. No, she sounds good. But you know, so and I appreciate you so yeah. much. I tell you all that. I tell you that all the time. All the time, yeah. We yeah. become like honestly, I just watching you, I instantly connected with you in your heart and who you are as a person. I was like, I need to be friends with her. Dude, so I was like, I was a creepy fan. I was Dude, like, Casey, stop. I love no. you. No, but you're just I'm it's awesome, and you're like family. Well, because when we first hung out, dude, like you, like you're all you're big on vibes and everything yeah, too. Like same. I'm huge on that. So yeah. I'm like I feel it with you. I'm like he has Instantly. such a big heart, good energy, good vibes. Yeah. That's a real thing, right? It is. It's, it's huge. So it's like the importance of being aware of it because there's so many oh, people, yeah. dude. There's so many people out there that are not aware of it. Yeah. And if you're aware of it and you are aware of other people's energy and you can kind of read that, yeah. read other people, that's a huge advantage for you. Yeah. Because if you can now plan your next move, figure out what you need to say, whether you close your mouth or say something. Yeah, or you act on it. Yeah. It's huge, right? It's yeah. a huge advantage to, to be able to know human behavior. 100%. Really understand the other person. Yeah. And I think that, so my mom, little background, my mom's really spiritual and she just raised us just like, we're Christians, but I, I don't believe in like religion and more spirituality. And I think that that helped me also. And that's why I feel like enlightened in a way. And I spoke about it in my DRs in Big Brother, but they're never gonna show that side of, of me, you know? And I would say it, I was like, I don't know what it is. I just have this like, I feel like it's a gift. Like if you got that gift of like, you can like feel somebody's vibe or just like that frequency or that energy that they're giving you, that's a blessing. I think, yeah, I believe that everyone just has it within them. Mm -hmm. It's like yeah, a lot of them- Yeah, you just gotta tap into it. Exactly, too. I was just gonna say, you yeah. just gotta tap into it. Mm -hmm. You gotta be aware with yourself, aware with your surroundings, aware, with, uh, yeah. aware of other people's, you know, um, how they, you know, move and act, but For sure. it's huge. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so we like go with you. Dude, it's crazy. Do you ever lose your freaking oh, voice? Oh, are you joking all the time? When I got out of the Big Brother house, I I lost my voice. I legit didn't have a voice for like a month, and I would always be screaming. I would go online. <laughs> You know, I thought it was in the Dude. DR the whole time. I'm like, I need to calm down because this is bad. No, <laughs> like, I, I think yeah. we, like our energy is like the same. Yeah. Honestly, I feel like our energy is the same yeah. where we get so excited and Oh yeah, up. yeah. It's like we don't want to stop, you yeah. know. And then we we feed off other people's energy. Yeah. You know, I'm sure you look sure. like with fans and stuff. Mm -hmm. When you feel their energy, it's like yeah, you can't help but. To, That's one thing that I I 
I, I was gonna say fucking, but that I love about you <laughs> is you give all of you every time. Yes. Like you have this, and I see you, and I step back and I watch you. You have this thing. You make everyone feel so comfortable, and you make everyone feel so important. And like that's one thing, and I don't think I've ever told you that, but I want to. I like want to take that. Oh from my you. God. Like that's something that you have. Where like I see you talk to me, you and my friends this weekend. Like they just said nothing but great things about oh, you. That's you know, so awesome. and like you make everybody feel so good and important. And that's another thing that like. I just, I don't know, I appreciate about it. Yeah, that means a lot. Yeah. I appreciate that. Because I really do try to make it a point. It's, I think it's. And for you, again, he's aware. He's very aware and you see that. Yeah. And that's, I feel the same too. You see that in other people. You're like, it's it's just. And I think that that's, I mean, the crazy thing is with BB in certain winners, I see qualities that it's not because they play the best game or what right. production or the fans think is the best game. It's they're just good fucking human beings. Yeah. You know, they just made real genuine connections besides like the whole surface level game yeah. bullshit, you know? Yeah. And I instantly, when I met you, I knew that you were just a good, we're vibing right now. We're like, vibing. I'm like, I'm vibing. I'm, I'm just like, yeah, I'm like, I love you so much. I love you too, yeah. man. I really do. Can you imagine if we were in the house together? Like, we would. We would. Too. We, would. Yeah, we, would. we would raise up. We would be a lot of shit. <laughs> like, shut up, man. <laughs> I would love. To, I would love to play the game like it, like this season together. That yeah, would be so good. Oh yeah. yeah that would be sick. It would be. It would be a fun time. And then, what was your all stars, guys? All stars. All stars. <laughs> all stars. Well, what did, what was your strategy before going to the house? And did you play play it out? Your strategy you know the way you wanted to. You know what's crazy? I got out and I watched an interview and legit word for word what I said. It was like I'm gonna go in there and people loved it or hated it. I was gonna raise hell, like raise hell, like be chaotic and call people out on their game. And so I saw. I've been a fan of the show. You know this, but I saw how Evil Dick played and he called people out. But another thing is. I read a book and I'm probably saying this wrong, but it's like um, how to influence people. Oh, how to win friends and influence yeah, people. Yeah, I people. love that. I book. read that book before getting into the Big Brother house, and that was the best book. It was like yeah. God given to me. It was like yeah. sent from the heavens. I don't know. And there was something in there that I read. There was a lot of things that I connected with, but that stuck with me. And one of the things was um, to treat like treat everyone like the CEO. You get me? My dad always taught us that. Like treat every. Treat everyone the same respect as you would treat the CEO of a company, you know? And another thing was like, when you, when you catch somebody in a lie, the way that they act, yeah. how to read them. So I would call everybody out in the middle of the kitchen or in front of the house and I would see how they would act. I was like, damn, I made that up, but right. you just gave me my answer. Even though my season was rough, you know, and I, watching back, I was able to learn and grow and that person, I'm not the same 23 year old, yeah. but still, I'm glad that I stayed true to who I was, you know, and I was able to watch her and be like, all right, kid, you need to work on that. Yeah. Or like, you know, and be or be proud of moments of like just my heart and who I am and how emotional I could be, you know? Yeah. Yeah. That's great. You're 23. 23. 25 now. So you think you like learned so much? Oh, hell yeah. There's, I mean, you know. Like, yeah. Yeah. I mean, watching yourself back on TV is like, yeah. it's like plus the whole world judging your, like ripping yes. you apart. Yes. You, you, you're like, you never knew you had a, something was wrong with you until you go on TV and everybody's coming at you left and right. But I think that, you know, there's ways to go about it. You can dwell on it, be negative and just feed off of that negativity or take the positive out of it and be like, all right, I had to work on that. All right, you're right. Like, you know, and just build yourself up, yeah. you know? And that's insane. Yeah. I'm sure that was a huge learning experience. It was. It Cause was. I went in the house 30 years old, you know, yeah. I mean, I feel like I had a better like understanding of like who I was and oh, stuff. Oh hell but, yeah! And hell then yeah. you going in at twenty three, so that was like that's, I, um, you you the, handled it really well. Yeah, yeah. Was <laughs> <laughs> it? <laughs> <laughs> you about to have some subtitles on the bottom? She's like, <laughs> she's like <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna have subtitles on yeah. the bottom. Like what? no, a legit the growth you gain from that show and just like bringing it back it's like to. Uh, not even that, just the skills you acquire from just like socializing and interacting with people. Yes. I can walk into any room right now and connect with the damn Oh, wall I know. Off of playing yes. your brother. It's crazy. And like, we're also, you put us in a room and we all talk so yeah. much, like we won't yeah. be quiet. Yeah. And that definitely like, how you were saying Spanish, desarrollo, like it, it, it brought that out of me. Like I'm, I used to be social, now I'm like extremely, yeah. it's like heightened. Yeah. 
you know, so the house did that to me for sure. It's so powerful. Yeah, it is. If you, yeah, if you, I mean, if you know how to be social and you just be out there reading people and being aware, mm -hmm. it makes life so much easier. It really does. It takes, you know, it's like you build so many relationships. I see you yeah. like always on the go. Yeah. Creating relationships with people, networking. or they you know, just, networking, and they yeah, love you. Yeah, they either yeah. attracted to you. They love yeah. your energy. They love your big heart. Yeah, and it, it's like night and day. And so, what we're trying to do is like help people. Like everyone has it within them. Yeah. But we're trying to help them like tap into it. Mm -hmm. Like it's so effective. It's so powerful. No, I think that like I was saying is I'm my biggest roadblock sometimes, oh, and people is. don't realize that you get in your own way. You get in your own head. We all have insecurities. Yeah. We all deal with our own doubts and you know, especially with social media now, we're constantly comparing, we're constantly in competition with everybody else. Probably subconsciously, we don't even know, you know? And it's it's crazy. I think that just the thing that I'm proud of is I know I'm not perfect, but I'm me. Yeah. You got me? And I'm always gonna stay true to who I am. Yes. And love me or hate me, since a kid it's been like that. So yeah. I think that once I got on TV, yeah, it's heightened, but I just stayed true to who I was and I'm happy with that. Yeah. You know, I know my heart and I know who I am and I think that people just need to first love yourself, mm -hmm. realize that we're humans and we're all growing, we're all learning, we're all, you know, evolving every day. No one's perfect, no matter how perfect they look on social yeah. media and we all have insecurities, but just, you know, put your best foot forward to get out of your own way. Create like your thoughts have power and just like I'm an extremely positive person yeah. Even though like I face and deal with a lot of negativity. I just always have a positive outlook. I'm rambling, but I'm no no This is good. from the heart. No, it's good. Yeah. Well, because I believe like yeah. what you, the positive you put out there man, yeah. It's just coming right back in your way because you're so thankful. You're so yeah. grateful And it it's is. like and, and I love how you're saying you stay true to yourself because yeah. It just makes life so much easier. It really does. You can either just like be so be miserable, hate yourself, not love yeah. yourself, or you can you know really switch it around. Yeah. And it's all about your mindset and staying true to yourself and being happy and not giving a fuck what not other people fuck. Yeah. have to say about you. Yeah. And you just you just accept that there are people out there that they're still trying to figure out their life. Yeah. But their opinion does not dictate your dictate exactly your who you are. Who you are. You're, and exactly. You, I couldn't even. Yeah. You said it perfectly. Yeah. You know. And that's a thing. People that if somebody's spewing that hate at somebody or coming at somebody, you got. I always step back. I'm like, damn, they must be going yeah. through a battle. I'm like, yeah. I legit. When I get hate, when I get trolls, I'm like, yo, God bless you. Yeah. Much love and light your way. Like. All the people, I wish you the best because it's like that's just they're going through something way deeper than we could ever be going through. So, my thing is just, yeah, just focus on the positive and just be you. Yeah, I mean, I grew up hustling literally. Yeah. Like, a lot of people don't know this, but my dad has, has his own wholesale business. But before that, we would legit, he would work for his best friend and do flea markets on weekends. So I would go on Sundays to the flea market and sell you whatever the hell we were selling. And that's where I got my whole, that's, I think that that helped me a lot and playing sports also helped me build my confidence, but that helped me a lot to be kind of like the salesman that I am, but also how to, if you're not buying my product, you get me? Like, I need to make you happy. I need to make you interested. And I was at 12 years old doing that. You that's get me? Awesome. So that's another thing that people don't know and I really didn't talk about in the Big Brother house, but I think that my whole business background, but my dad always told me, you know, and like I said before, it's like just treat everybody with the same respect. You get me? Mm -hmm. Being kind takes you to, so far. And I have the thing where it's like, you show me love and I'll give you the world. You show me disrespect yeah. and out. Oh yeah. You know, oh, yeah. I can be a douche. You know. Yeah. But um, but at the end of the day, I think just treat everybody, be kind to everyone, just show love, just be a good person, and you know, treat everyone the same. Yeah. I think that it, just respecting people takes yeah. it. You know. It goes a long it way. It really does. Were you always like a social butterfly when yeah. you were younger, like growing up, or was it hard for you to make friends or? Was there a point in time yeah. where it's like? So, it, yeah, it, it definitely, it ranges. So I've always been really friendly and social and really outgoing, but there's times where I felt like I never fit in. You get me? Like in high school, my whole baseball team isolated me because I was a new kid, you know, and I was a good pitcher. So I like, I dealt with social anxiety my whole life. Really? 
And yeah, and it, 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 it honestly, even now, even like events like this, yeah. and you'll never see it. Yeah. You can never tell that I'm going through it. Right. But still, I think that we all go through that in, in a way. But I think the one thing I tell myself is like, we're all, we're all humans. We're yeah. all having yeah. the same emotions. Yeah. Oh, yeah. We're all having these same like nerves and being anxious and all this stuff. But like, take the first step, just take the step. That's what I do. Yeah. Like when I feel scared, or I feel anxious, or I'm like, damn, how is this gonna play? How is it gonna work? Just go for it. Like, get out. Of, I get out of my head, and I'm just like, screw it. I'm gonna go for it. I'm gonna try it. Even if it's just simply having a conversation, like walking up to a girl and you know, introducing myself. Like, if I don't take the motion to make that first step, then I'm gonna live with that right. regret. So I'd rather get over my anxiety, right. put myself out there, and you know, put my best best foot forward. Then like, do with the real. Like, oh, I didn't try that, yeah. or I didn't, you know do this experience or go film this or go do because i got in my own way right. you know and then once you do once you do oh. get cut, like uncomfortable and you do it you're like oh. i can keep doing this and you start to build the confidence it's like i be keep comfortable going. with being uncomfortable come, 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 come. i say that all the time you see get you comfortable right and get comfortable baby house. getting uncomfortable yeah and, and that's what i tell myself i'm like oh i'm gonna be uncomfortable all right let's do it yeah. screw it yeah. i'll put myself in that position and i'll see how i react and all that guess what the next time the next go around then it'll be better and i think with with BB, it's like that. Like you know, we don't know what the hell we're walking yeah. into, and it's terrifying. It's scary, but I think that that experience just like prepares you for whatever, you know, like any show or any other experience. Like I'm grateful that Big Brother was the one that I did first because it's so intense that I don't know. I feel like I could face anything. Yes, yeah. that's awesome. Yeah. Yeah. This kid, come on now. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> yeah, I love it. Like, yeah, get comfortable getting really? uncomfortable. Yeah. Cause then I, you know, I'm sure you can agree. It's like the more you do it, it just builds your confidence. Yeah, 100%. The more and yeah. more and more, and, and you become unstoppable. And like, and that's the nothing's crazy. gonna scare yeah, me. That's the crazy thing. People are like, oh, I get messages all the time, uh, like all the time in my DMs. How are you so confident? How are yeah, you so positive? That's awesome. How are you so? And I'm like, honestly. Sometimes I feel like shit. Yeah. Sometimes I'm not as confident. Yeah. But guess what? I check myself. Yeah. You know, you have to check yourself. Yeah. As soon as those doubts and those insecurities and those thoughts start coming into your head, you got to check yourself and be like, no, I'm a great person. Yeah. I have this to offer. I know who I am. I know my heart. I know my intent. And just build yourself up. You yeah. know, be your own hype man. Yeah. Like, be your own hype man. Gas yourself up. And like, be humble with it, yeah, you know, like yeah, don't get, yeah. people get too hyped on it, but no, sometimes you've got to check yourself and realize like, we're all, we're all experiencing the same emotions, just don't let it eat you up and let it hold you back. I think, and I'm emphasizing on that because for so long, like even with Big Brother, I didn't, I never saw a Latino kid like me on that yeah, show. Yeah. I didn't relate to no one, yeah. you know? That was hard. Yeah. And I was like, they're never gonna pick me up. I'm this big guy, a loud kid from Miami and all yeah. this stuff. But I walked into that room and I owned it. And they yeah. were like, holy shit. Yeah. And like, legit, my confidence was like jumping off. I'm like, I, I mean, Sean told me, they all told me, they're like, dude, you, uh, I don't know where you get all this energy, yeah. like this confidence from. But I'm like, I honestly, I'm my biggest hype man. Yeah. <laughs> like, you know, you have to be in life because people are constantly knocking you down, but you gotta. Yes. Know that you're, know that you're yeah. worthy. You, know? you, you have to be your biggest hype man. I yeah, love that. Yeah. You have to be. And there's no one, no one, is, I don't know how, how to say this, how to phrase this, but there's only one you, you yeah. know? There's only one you. Your, your unique, authentic self is great. Right. That's it. You don't need to be anything more, anything else. Just be you. Right. Yeah. Heck yeah. Do you do a lot of self talk? Oh, all the time. Yeah. I look like it's a crazy important. man in the morning. Yeah, no, fuck. Oh, I look like right. As soon as I Yeah, I'm talking up, to myself. I'm telling you, all the time. <laughs> I look like a madman. <laughs> Um, but I, I, so when I wake up, I write a gratitude list and I always try to do, it's every morning. I give God thanks, I wake up, I give God thanks, I do a gratitude list and then I legit look myself in the mirror and I gas myself up and yeah. I'm like, you are the man. Yes. You're 25 and you're fucking thriving yes. and I like, just sort of talk to myself, you get me? And you have to before you, you jump on to. damn Twitter and social media, you, you know? Have to. But that, and I think I got that from just playing sports, yeah. you know? I had a coach. I don't forget, he would always tell us that, and he, and he would be like, check yourself, you know, and yeah. build yourself up because everybody wants to see you lose out here. Like, people, some people, it's sad, they want us, they're waiting for your fail, so don't give them that. Oh, yeah. You know? Dude, I'm learning so much about you that I, yeah. have, that I had no idea, mm -hmm. but your mindset is so yeah. powerful, and I love it. You know, at your age, and you seeing that, and you being so weird, like, yeah. like, you, you are the same damn person. Like,
I'm so crazy. I'm like, telling you. I'm like, I'm listening to him. I'm learning so much about you. Yeah. I'm even learning some new stuff. Yeah. You know, and I, I, I love it. You are an inspiration. You're my brother. You're my family. Yeah. I love you so yeah. much. I told you know? I told her mom when she got on, like, she's my family. Yeah. She doesn't know it. Oh, my gosh. In the audience, I, mean, I was like, I saw her one that was crying. I'm like, I love you guys. Listen, Casey and me are going to be best friends. <laughs> my parents love you. My brother loves you. So, you guys are just crazy. Fuck, it's crazy. It's crazy. Yeah. Be a good person, guys. Yeah. It's not that hard, okay? Love one another. Yeah.